Good afternoon, uh, dear participants, our uh, seminar. Uh, now uh, we have the second seminar uh, at the uh, 15 uh, international conferences of uh, mathematics, science and educational. And uh, we we can begin. Oh, yes. Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Yes, we are glad to. Uh, I'm uh, also very, uh, glad to see you, everyone, and uh, some second because there are some people's, some colleagues who additional. Okay, the first uh, report from uh, today was uh, uh, Vitaly Echkan, Ruslan Kaluhin, Katerina Vlasin, Kairina Lavianova, Ruslan Kaluhin, Tatiana Armash, uh, named uh, the case of classification uh, and their development for uh, will be mathematics teachers training. So, some second. Okay, we can start. The case classification and their development for would be mathematics teachers training, as noted in the standards for training mathematics teachers developed by the Association of Mathematics Teacher Educators, an effective mathematics teacher must take into account the existing social contexts of learning and actively use and adapt existing innovative developments to the needs of a specific group of students. The use of the case method provides would-be mathematics teachers with ample opportunities to acquire and analyze practical experience. It is the analysis and modeling of specific situations that allow would-be mathematics teacher to be trained to find effective ways to overcome problems in teaching mathematics to correspond to society's order. The basis of the professional training of would-be mathematics teachers is methodological disciplines such as methods of teaching mathematics, technologies of teaching mathematics, and several disciplines of students' free choice. The purpose of our research is the classification and development of cases that are expedient to use in the process of teaching methodological disciplines to would-be mathematics teachers. The classification is based on a theoretical generalization of the views of scientists and a survey of methodical disciplines teachers. The selection of cases in the classification process should be carried out taking into account such requirements. Availability. The choice of the case type should correspond to the level of methodological competence of students and readiness to produce creative solutions. Scientism. The cases are aimed at students mastering the scientific foundations of general and partial methods of teaching mathematics, forming the ability to systematically apply methods, forms, and technologies of learning. Systematicity. The use of cases in the process of teaching methodical disciplines should occur constantly and systematically, supplementing the traditional methods of teaching methodical disciplines. Contextuality and practical orientation. Cases in the process of teaching methodical disciplines as closely as possible simulate situations that would-be teachers will encounter in their professional activities. Methodological expediency. The choice of the case type is related to the type of class and the goal pursued by the teacher. Classification characteristics of cases in the education. By the amount of time for execution. By the level of difficulty. By the method of presentation. By the breadth of the covered problem. By the amount of time for execution, cases are divided into many cases, medium-long cases, and long-term cases. Many cases require 15 to 25 minutes to find solutions. Medium-long cases require from 30 minutes to 1 hour to find solutions. Long-term cases require more than an hour to find solutions. It is advisable to use many cases as a means of creating a problem situation during lectures on methodical disciplines and in the process of practical class. It is appropriate to use medium-long cases in the process of practical classes on methodical disciplines. According to the level of complexity, the cases are divided into reproductive training, partial research, heuristic, and creative innovative. Reproductive and training cases contain structured information, a standard situation, which provides for the presence of two or three models of pedagogical activity to achieve an optimal result. Information in partial search, heuristic, cases is not exhaustive. 
Such cases require additional analysis and modification of standard models of pedagogical activity. They may contain some absolutely unnecessary facts for finding a solution, information that distracts attention from key point. The choice of the case type by the level of complexity depends on the purpose of its use and the level of preparation of the students. For example, it is advisable to use reproductive training cases in lectures on methodical disciplines to create a problem situation. By the method of presentation, cases were divided into cases in printed, handwritten, form, multimedia presentation, and video cases. The choice of presentation method depends on the form of education and the teacher's technical capabilities. During distance learning, it is worth giving preference to two extreme types of cases. During face-to-face -face training in classrooms, it is appropriate to offer individual cases, mostly short ones, in printed form. At the same time, if technical capabilities are available, multimedia presentation and video cases should prevail. Based on the breadth of the covered problem, cases are divided into thematic and integrated ones. Thematic cases are related to the method of introducing concepts, proving statements, and studying a certain content line of the high mathematics course. Integrated cases require reliance on knowledge, skills, and subjective experience of one or more methodological disciplines. It is advisable to use thematic cases lecturing methodical disciplines to create a problem situation. Also, their application is useful during practical classes devoted to considering methods of teaching mathematics. It is appropriate to use integrative cases when students have already studied the basic course of mathematics teaching methods and are mastering other methodical disciplines. Also, their application is useful in final practical classes. You can see an example of a reproductive training thematic mini case on the slide. You can see a heuristic, integrated, medium-long example on the slide. The results of the online survey of university teachers of methodological disciplines made it possible to clarify the classification characteristics of the cases and to distinguish the types of cases in the teaching of methodical disciplines. An example of survey results on the slide. The analysis of scientific papers confirmed the relevance of the study of the case classification, which is expedient to use while teaching methodical disciplines training would be mathematics teachers. Based on the classification and survey of respondents, the authors of the study determined the classification characteristics of cases, the amount of time to complete the way of presentation, the level of complexity, and the breadth of the problem covered. For each type of case, examples are provided that can be used while teaching methodological disciplines of would-be mathematics teachers and general requirements for case selection are offered. These requirements are based on taking into account the principles of accessibility, scientificity, contextuality, systematicity, methodological expediency, and practical orientation. An important direction for future research is to study the effectiveness of the given case classification while methodical training would be mathematics teachers. Thanks you for attention. Okay, it's a very interesting report and very interesting work because um, decision is very important and uh, mathematics is very important subject uh, in the school and our uh, children not study not very good study in uh, mathematics. Okay, colleagues, uh, are there any questions? You can uh, speak uh, online uh, of voice or you can uh, send message in the chat, please. Are there any questions? Yeah. I have one uh, little uh, question. What teacher do you uh, research uh, in the uh, small class or uh, uh, high school? 11 uh, class, what uh, of class? Uh, or teacher mathematics, uh, ge geometry or algebra or all teachers? Uh, uh, class, I, I, class. I, 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 I believe that it would be better I will answer uh, because uh, uh, report prepared uh, by Achika.
Professor Oshkan, but uh, I will ask, uh, I will answer this question because uh, it's not really about uh, uh, using opinion teachers, of course, because it's about preparation, uh, training mm -hmm. teachers for their mm -hmm. uh, experience, teaching experience, and uh, we uh, conducting conducting this experiment, uh, we. Uh, used opinion volunteers who work uh, at high school and who prepare these teachers for this uh, for their for their work. Uh, so, uh, according to some amount of uh, students and uh, teachers, uh, we used opinion uh, teachers of high school. I mean uh university national university and uh, uh university uh, which prepare uh, students for their uh for, for their for, for their future uh for their future work okay yes so i understand i don't maybe i uh, yes it's 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 about training so uh, it's about uh, how, for example, uh, we see uh, uh, what's case method and uh, what's classic case classification uh, teachers can use to train future would-be teachers mathematics. So we used their opinion for this case. Okay, so I understand that's huge. Mm -hmm. uh, in future teacher, it's our future. Yes, because it's quite weak. Yeah, I mean, uh, because you have some some kind of experience and then you have your uh, children, I believe that you know that uh, preparation of uh, would be teacher is quite paramount issue for our country because uh, to prepare to, to have good. Uh, class mathematic class it means to have first uh, to start it's with something it's to have uh, good teachers and it is issue for us mm -hmm. okay i understand thank you are there colleagues maybe there are a question i don't see chat there aren't question Uh, are there discuss uh, discuss uh, these uh, problems, these case uh, your c c cases with uh, other uh, lecture uh, in the other universe? Uh, of course, you're right. It, it's very impossible without it. Uh, first of all, this is you know, and as you could see that all also of this article is uh, they are teachers of different universities it is yeah. not uh this uh, this also they are all from different universities so uh to keep uh, something like the same opinion is quite difficult and uh it's some kind of collaboration and uh, uh how every uh, also of this article uh, can see situation from their point of view because uh, first of all that uh, we faced up with good, with some kind of issues that some uh, university for example uh, like professor Rajkan, he uh, work remotely and uh, uh, because uh, Berdansk state university uh, it works uh, out of their uh, home city and it's quite a difficult issue for them. Uh, and of course, uh, we used opinions, some experienced uh, Professor Slavyanova, Professor Lovyanova, uh, and uh, uh, we, uh, uh, and of course, uh, uh, quite uh, uh, 
quite uh, it's not experienced uh, scientist uh, i mean ruslan kalugin but from his point of view uh, because he is going to present his uh, uh, study about uh, and uh, his thesis uh, uh, so he uh, had a lot of information and he uh, had opportunity uh, to communicate a lot with different teachers of different universities. Yes, thank you. It's a really very great experience because uh, uh, now uh, lecture of mathematics, the methodic methodics of mathematics, very very small, and uh, every year it's yeah very uh, smaller. Low. The the stage of preparation very low. It's of course, uh, of course, it's yeah. case of certification. But uh, uh, we believe when uh, we end up with our war, uh, that it will be some kind of certification, special certification, and uh, our teachers they uh, they must uh, to. Yeah this certification and to show that they are ready for this work uh, because uh, I believe that our children uh, they uh, they should have opportunity to have good teacher to prepare mass yes. uh, uh, because uh, as you could see that uh, right now I have another position I work in uh, National University Kiev Mahila uh, Academy, and it's something you experience for me because uh, I believe that uh, uh, some teachers they will uh, uh, they will be would be satisfied with some kind of position because we have very good very good students. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's quite yeah, difficult maybe. to live in it, but uh, we have very good students, and of course, uh, uh, and of, uh, they have a uh, very quite big requirement from teachers, and uh, uh, I believe that uh, our university uh, they uh, they deserve. To have uh, all all our university they deserve to have some kind of students with whom they will work uh, successfully and they they will have uh, they will have uh, satisfaction with preparation some kind of students. Oh yes, uh, it's a very important uh, because. If you they have a satisfaction, uh, successful, uh, yeah. they study more. They want work, uh, and yes. because yes, because uh, yeah. if they in our situation in content, uh, teach mm -hmm. uh, not. I am not uh, want to work. They uh, prepare. Yes. They uh, can uh, one year, two year works. And go in another specific. Okay. okay, we are very grateful for your uh, experiments uh, and for your work. Mm -hmm. uh, are Thank there many you. questions? Uh -huh. Maybe there aren't. May uh -huh. there aren't. Okay. Thank you, Katerina, and thank you, your teams. Uh, and mm -hmm. next uh, report is uh, from. Um, uh, Katerina Vlasenko uh, also, Kostikov Alexander, Tetyana Armash, uh, Irina Lavyanova, and Mikhailo Maisenko. The usage uh, stoch, stoch, such, uh, metrics while uh, learning the topic Elganivals uh, uh, and uh, Elganivators uh, of uh, metrics in the course of high mathematics. To the study okay. the usage of stochastic matrices while learning the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix, in the course of higher mathematics the study of linear. Algebra is provided in the course of higher mathematics at the university. Matrices, their determinants, solving a system of linear equations, and modeling using them are considered while learning the course. 
Several hours are also devoted to the consideration of eigenvalues and eigenvectors. However, the practical application of these concepts is almost not traced. And therefore the importance of learning them remains unclear to students. Mathematical modeling using eigenvalues and eigenvectors based on the usage of stochastic models is also neglected. From the different studies, it can be seen that Markov chains have a fairly wide application in various spheres of life, so they require further research, which we consider based on eigenvalues. Markov random processes, in particular Markov chains, as a mathematical model, are used to study processes in many branches of science, in particular in economics, ecology, sociology, technology, and industry. Eigenvectors. Having chosen the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix, it compiled a system of problems for students of various specialties. Systematized problems were aimed at developing certain skills. The separation of these skills can be demonstrated using the following problem two companies, X and Y, provide telephone, internet, and digital television and share a market of 5 million people. Company X is not very customer friendly and loses 12% of its customers to Company Y every year. Not all of Company Y's customers are satisfied with their service and every year 3% of Company Y's customers switch to Company X. We want to investigate how the number of customers of both companies will change from sometimes. To sum up, the skills needed to solve the problem the student knows what discrete time Markov chains are and how they are formed the student knows how to enter notation and create a system of equations that reflects the process described in the problem the student is able to rewrite the system of linear equations in matrix form the student knows how to recognize stochastic matrices, define them formally, and knows which definitions and theorems of the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix, work with them the student knows how to find the eigenvalues of the matrix the student knows the theorem on the presence of stochastic vectors of the stochastic matrix and knows how to work with it. Theorem. If one takes m element of Rnxn as a stochastic matrix, where me, j is greater than or equal to zero for all i, j element of, one, n, then there exists a unique stochastic vector v asterisk operator which is the corresponding eigenvector to the eigenvalue 1. Eigenvalues lambda of the matrix m other than 1 satisfy, lambda, less than 1. For all stochastic vectors v1 has lim right pointing arrow infinity sign mnv equals v asterisk operator the student has the skills to analyze the results obtained as a result of solving the model and coming to conclusions after distinguishing the system of skills. It was expected to develop not only skills directly related to the mastery of the topic but also skills. This development will help to understand where the calculations of eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the matrix can be used. So, the study aimed to develop a system of problems for learning the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix, to students of different university specialties. With the help of systematized problems, show students the usage of eigenvectors and eigenvalues in various branches of science and spheres of life. To conduct an experiment in which students of different university specialties will take part, to check the impact of the developed system of problems on the development of students' skills. The research method was the systematization of problems to show students the usage of eigenvectors and eigenvalues in various fields of science and spheres of life. Before developing the problems, several related theoretical propositions were identified, which became the basis for their systematization and solution. Definition of stochastic matrix and stochastic vector. The theorem on the product of a stochastic vector by a stochastic matrix. Definition of Markov chain. The theorem on the presence of one among the eigenvalues of the stochastic matrix. The theorem on the presence of stochastic vectors in a stochastic matrix. The theorem on the presence of stochastic vectors in a stochastic matrix has become the main one while systematizing and solving problems. It is considered the system of problems that will allow students of different university specialties to demonstrate the application of eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix in practice. It has been systematized the problems for the code specialties management, marketing, entrepreneurship, trade and exchange activity, mathematics, statistics, applied mathematics, secondary education, mathematics, biology, horticulture and viticulture, horticulture, ecology, earth sciences, agronomy, earth sciences, power engineering, electrical engineering, and electromechanics, transport technologies, international economic relations to check the effectiveness of using the system of problems in which stochastic models are used in classes of linear algebra, an experiment was conducted. The base for experimenting was universities. 
National University of Kiev Mohyla Academy, and Krivi Re State Pedagogical University and students of majors, management, marketing, entrepreneurship, trade and exchange activity, applied mathematics, secondary education, mathematics. The main tasks of the experiment were the study of learning, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix, by students of different majors, developing and implementing the system of problems that can demonstrate the usage of eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the matrix while constructing stochastic models, analysis of the experiment's results. The control group and the experimental group were formed at the beginning of the experiment to determine the level of students' mathematical preparation after testing the first few topics of the linear algebra section in the higher mathematics course. After the end of the experiment, students were tested again. At the beginning and the end of the experiment, students of the control and experimental groups solved the same system of problems developed by the authors of this study. The experiment lasted two weeks, during which the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix were studied in the course of the considered section of higher mathematics. 125 students took part in the experiment, of which 64 students were included in the control group and 61 students in the experimental group. The test, which was offered to students at the final stage of the experiment, contained three types of problems. The first type of problem is aimed at working out the steps of calculating the eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix, namely, solving the equations given in the form of determinants and finding the fundamental system of solutions of an indeterminate homogeneous system of linear equations. This type of problem tests the skill to rewrite a system of linear equations in matrix form, skill 1. The second type of problem is to find eigenvectors and eigenvalues of matrices of different order. These problems are aimed at testing students' skills to calculate eigenvectors and eigenvalues of a matrix, skill 2. The third type of problem includes tasks on the application of eigenvectors and eigenvalues of the matrix, namely, finding the canonical equation of the second order line, as well as tasks on developing a linear exchange model, international trade model. This type of problem was given to test the skill to build mathematical models for a problem, as well as the skill to adapt the obtained results following the condition of the problem and the ability to come to a specific conclusion, skill 3. It is presented in the table and the diagram the percentage of correctly completed problems of the first, second, and third types. It is clear from the table and diagram that the percentage of skills 1, 2, and 3 in the experimental group is higher than in the control group. For the first skill 7.4%, for the second skill, by 16.4%, and for the third skill, by 24%. It confirms the effectiveness of the problem system that was developed in which modeling on stochastic models is considered using eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix. Setting the conditions of the problems was carried out based on observing the stages of their solution to the conclusions of the theorem on the existence of stochastic vectors of the stochastic matrix. Therefore, the theorem became a formula for the systematization of problems with which the students of the experimental group worked. Of course, the students of the same group were also familiarized with all the theoretical provisions that ensure the modeling and solving obtained formalized models. The results of the experiment confirmed the expediency of using the developed problem system for learning the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix. It has been come up to the conclusion stochastic matrices have wide application in various scientific fields, data analysis, probability theory, statistics, mathematics, computer science and population genetics, and life practice, migration, employment, changes in urban systems and landscape, etc. Therefore, using matrices of this type can be demonstrated to students of different university specialties, provided students consider stochastic matrices, which are also called probability matrices. Markov matrices, or substitution matrices, additional concepts and theorems should be presented to students while studying the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix. Among them, the definition of a stochastic matrix and a stochastic vector, the theorem on the product of a stochastic vector by a stochastic matrix, the definition of Markov chains, the theorem on the presence of one among the eigenvalues of a stochastic matrix, the theorem on the presence of stochastic vectors in a stochastic matrix. The theorem on the presence of stochastic vectors in a stochastic matrix can be used as a basis for the systematization of problems that present applications of eigenvalues and eigenvectors of a matrix in real-life situations. This is explained by the fact that the stages of solving such problems must be carried out by observing the conditions and conclusions of this theorem. The usage of the developed system of problems and presentation of the theoretical foundations of its involvement while studying the topic, eigenvalues and eigenvectors of the matrix 
does not require a significant increase in hours. The results of the experiment show that students who work with the recommended system of problems demonstrate better results, which course to the improvement of skills ensuring mastery of the topic. Very thanks for your attention. We want to introduce We are also thank you for your report. Mm -hmm. It's very interesting uh, decision and very big. Uh, a lot of students, uh, a lot of uh, speciality uh, in yeah. uh, your experience. Uh, by uh, 100 uh, students today is a uh, very big uh, yes, for research. I I see what you mean, but I have a good base for this because uh, uh, we have a lot of students to study uh, in my university. We uh, we are no. not lack uh, of students in uh, K Mahila Academy, so uh, we can conduct very good experiments. Yeah. It's very good, uh, and very. It's very interesting, uh, and uh, I see. I thought the student uh, was also very uh, was interested interested in these yeah. uh, experiments. Uh, it's it's so it's because that. Uh, uh, I mean that we must do some kind of research because our students they require from us this. Uh, I can share my experience because, for example, in our university, uh, after all uh, course, our students they uh, uh, estimate uh, teachers, uh, uh, all teachers, and uh, me too. Uh, we have score, uh, and this score can uh, can uh, this score complete from uh, different opinion students. They write down about everything, and uh, they uh, give mark us. And uh, uh, the first question uh, when they uh, when they write down their opinion is. Uh, how useful uh, they see this course for their future uh, specialities. Uh, so, uh, all uh, every lecture, I uh, I even must start only this uh, explanation uh, why we learn uh, this uh, item or topic today and. Uh, uh, I must explain why I give this theorem and, for example, uh, the definition and answer, for instance, uh, that we learn only to study how analyze because we use mathematics uh, to analyze situation or classification, some techniques now. Uh, it's not appropriate for these students. They uh, want, they require uh, to give them information how and why they listen this topic today, how they can use this serum and why I want to give them this serum. And so, so uh, I don't have another choice for this. So Okay. Yes, it's uh, it's very uh, interesting, uh, be, uh, and uh, it's very also important because uh, uh, the morning chaos is very uh, digital. Is very uh, interested. Uh, they uh, <clears throat> very thinking uh, generation, yes. Yes. Uh, and uh, they don't uh, want listen if they haven't motivation. For listening. Yes, you're right. You're right. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you very much. And there are questions on other colleagues oh, because it wasn't questions. It mm -hmm. was discussion. Maybe uh, something won't added. Something.
I believe this is quite difficult because uh, our colleague has to speak English. It's uh, it's quite difficult to uh, to face up with this issue uh, and uh, to 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 ask something loudly. Uh, so yes. They, uh, it's, so of course uh, I am waiting for some kind of question. For example, uh, in chat. Uh, you can write any any language, and I will answer it. Okay. Yes, uh, we haven't uh, colleagues from other country, and all as I see, all our members are from Ukraine, and so 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 is difficult. So it's difficult. Yes. To... Yes, maybe. Okay, thank you, Katerina, and thank you, your uh, teams. Uh, and thank you, thank you very much, you too, because uh, it's really uh, your experience and your work very good for us, and we are very grateful to you for, 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 for your work, very grateful. Thank you very much. Yes, thank you, and thank you, you. Okay, and we have next... Uh, Report uh, is uh, Simmons, uh, yes, no, uh, Simmons, uh, uh, Shnikovska and Holovina, uh, Structura Mathematics, Thinking and its Development in Teaching Mathematics. Uh, Irena Shnikovska. Greetings to the respected scientific community. First of all, we would like to thank the organizers of the conference for the opportunity, honor, and pleasure of participating in such a prestigious scientific event. We extend our heartfelt greetings to the participants of the Icon Mastered 2024 conference from the Ukrainian city of Zhitomer, from the scientific community of Zhitomer Polytechnic State University. This slide presents the content structure of our presentation. Our pilot study involved diagnosing the cognitive benchmarks of future mathematics teachers. According to its findings, it was established which factors prevail in the process of solving mathematical problems, theoretical or empirical. The dominant of theoretical benchmarks serves as a factor in the development of the learner's structural and mathematical thinking. It is extrapolated to the personal dimension of professional readiness for implementing the methodology of personal developmental mathematics education. Instead, the advantage of empirical cognitive benchmarks not only shows down this process, but also makes it difficult to assimilate innovative teaching methods. It was proposed to place in ascending order those factors that are significant in the process of solving mathematical problems. Factor one, devising a strategy to solve the problem. Factor two, identifying a method for tackling difficult problems. Factor three, providing an answer that addresses the question posed in the problem statement. Factor four, executing calculations accurately without errors. The results of the pilot study presented in the paper proved the relevance of the problem raised in the work. The need to delve into the varieties of theoretical thinking, namely structural and mathematical, as well as the need for methodological preparation of the developed theory. The purpose of the work was to reveal the content, structure and typological characteristics of students' structural mathematical thinking to elaborate and scientifically substantiate a model of developmental conceptual teaching of mathematics to verify experimentally the effectiveness of the developed methodology. The problem area is the scientization of mathematical education regarding the content, structure, typological characteristics of students' structural and mathematical thinking as an imminent attribute of their mathematical competence. 
Under the notion of structural mathematical thinking, we refer to such theoretical thinking which provides for finding the patterns of formation and development of objects of mathematical knowledge and is based on the concept of mathematical structure. This type of cognitive activity operates within the logical framework as follows. First, the nomenclature of theoretical entities deemed undefined is listed. Secondly, the basic relations are enumerated in which fundamental concepts can be located and which are considered original. Third, the axioms are formulated, that is, statements that are accepted without additional proof. Axioms found major connections between fundamental concepts or assert the presence of certain fundamental concepts. Each concept that occurs in a mathematical theory is strictly defined. Fifth, each statement, theorem, that is not an axiom is rigorously proved. The proof is carried out by logical reasoning according to the laws of logic, using accepted axioms and previously proven statements. Sixth, applying the principle of moving from abstract to concrete, the theory is implemented and subsequent issues are resolved. Seventh, reflection of mathematical knowledge is ensured, namely self-analysis, self-control, self-correction, and self-assessment are carried out. Given the Cartesian interpretation of the three-dimensional structure of the mathematical competences internal manifestation, Structural mathematical thinking is combined with memory from mathematical material, experience of mathematical activity, self-awareness, that is, I concept of a personality, as well as mathematical abilities, as shown in figure. Thus, a holistic subsystem is formed, which is a personality and psychological dimension of mathematical competence. In the study, Classification basis of structural and mathematical thinking is defined content theoretical actions. We distinguish such varieties analytical, abstract, generalizing, planning, and reflective ones. In the context of the theoretical foundations of the phenomenon under study, the work outlines the psychological and pedagogical conditions for the development of students' structural and mathematical thinking which may be of interest to the adherence of the personal developmental approach in teaching mathematics. In the study, an innovative type of mathematics education is created, developmental, conceptual, which activates the components of theoretical thinking and ensures the development of structural and mathematical thinking of would-be teachers of mathematics. Innovation involves the following stages. The first stage, formulation of the problem, establishing the structure of the problem, determining the type of the problem. Second stage, solving the problem, establishing the structure of solving the problem, determining the structure of solving typical problems. Third stage, implementation of the logic of descending from the abstract to the concrete, solving partial problems. Fourth stage, formulation of the competence problem, establishment of the structure of the competence problem, definition of the competence problem type. Fifth stage, solving the competence problem, establishing the structure of solving the competence problem, determining the zones of actual and nearest mathematical development. In view of the above, the study highlights the specificity of the procedural component of mathematics teaching methodology which may be of interest to teachers, practitioners, teachers, methodologists. Taking into account the content, phenomenological characteristics and types of structural and mathematical thinking, sets of tasks were developed that encompassed. First, formulation of mathematical concepts. Second, formulation of theorems and their subsequent validation through proof. Third, mathematical modeling of problem solution situations. Fourth, educational modeling of solving typical problems. 
Fifth, compilation of mathematical problems. And sixth, solving competence problems. On a 100 point assessment scale, low, medium, average, and high levels of development of structural and mathematical thinking were diagnosed. The highest creative level was stated when the original task was developed at a high level. The implementation of the experimental method yielded the following results. Experimental group students had a better command of the system of mathematical concepts. They were better acquainted with the main theorems and methods of their proof. Secondly, qualitative changes were achieved in the process of mathematical modeling of problem situations, application of the method of mathematical modeling. Third, a positive dynamics was observed regarding the content generalization of mathematical material by experimental group students, the mastery of generalized methods of action in the process of solving problems. Fourth, the planning type of structural mathematical thinking of experimental group students was manifested in the content planning of the problem-solving process, the application of algorithmic and heuristic prescriptions. Fifth, solving of the competence problems by the experimental group students made it possible to establish zones of actual mathematical development, planning zones of their immediate development. Sixth, the results of the experimental teaching of mathematics proved the effectiveness of introducing the innovative educational technology, as well as the developmental effect of the methodology. Thank you for your attention. Good afternoon, dear. Okay, we are great to you know. Uh, thank you. It's, thank you. It's uh, a really interesting kind of uh, really new uh, experiments and new works. Okay, are there some question or some uh, question for uh, discuss? You can use a uh, chart. Yeah. Okay. If okay, uh, thank can you. I ask, can I ask any question? Uh, okay. Uh, tell me, please. Uh, did your students know about uh, some kind of classification? Uh, how they uh, uh, work with this task which you offered them, and uh, uh, if they. Uh, did they know about uh, uh, some kind of modeling? Uh, did you represent them uh, this model? Uh, thank you for your question, uh, dear Katerina. Uh, uh, the students of uh, control group, uh, so they were before the experiment, they answered uh, four questions. So there was like pre uh, pre-stage, uh, like pre-experiment, before experiment. Uh, uh, so they were asked the question, uh, four questions, yes. Uh, and uh, so our group uh, before this pilot study uh, in this future uh, uh, would be teachers of mathematics to see their motivation, uh, to see how they want to develop personally and professionally to use it in their teaching practice. So they knew that uh, uh, this research, it is already uh, third year uh, that our uh, group uh, for, um, of researchers participate in the conference. So the, the students knew that there are two, uh, before this experiment, there were two experiments before in previous years, yes? And uh, they knew that there is an experimental group and there is control group. And the students, uh, uh, like we tried to you to involve, to engage motivated students. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they can use, they can use the ideas mm -hmm. and they know that uh, 
uh, previous two years, uh, there was report at this conference. Mm -hmm. They knew mm -hmm. that, uh, you know, they want, they uh, like, they uh, are kind of, uh, they want to participate. They want to develop. And uh, mm -hmm. if students did not agree to, uh, uh, before the experiment, to write some answers, you know, if they did not like, so we did not ask to the experimental group, non-motivated students. Mm -hmm, you see? Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, yes, uh, that's I, why- Yes, I see, I see. Mm -hmm. yes. I see mm -hmm. what you mean. Because I observe your research and I saw this is not first study. Uh, we dedicated to this idea. So uh, I, I see what you mean. It's okay. It's so the best experience for me uh, as usual. Uh, from uh, scientist seminars, so I, I I know the him very good. So uh, of course, as usual, very best. Good uh, luck. Thank you, uh, dear Katerina. So Sergei Petrovich Semenets, uh, he uh, who, he uh, planned. He was planned to participate. Yes, mm -hmm. but now he said, uh, uh, "I'm sorry." I am very sorry. Uh, he has a big lecture. Mm -hmm. He has, a, uh, and he he said uh, hello to dear participants. So, so, so you can send him my message of respect. Yes, thank you very much. He will be uh, uh, very happy and and uh, very thank uh, grateful to you for your attention and your appreciation. Your appreciate because he has this research. For already this is third year, yes. So he continues, yes. he continues, and uh, like he compares, he makes some conclusion, he makes uh, how to improve, how to make it better. Mm -hmm. so Thank you very to, much. Yes. Thank, Thank you. you. I will give. I will uh, tell him your um, greeting and Thank your uh, yes. Appreciation. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciation. Yes. Thank you very much. And and he also he said um, to um, invite to read the article when it is published, mm -hmm. uh, when uh, so uh, organizers uh, work on publishing the article. So and Sergei Petrovich Semenich said um, invite to read the article uh, to have more details from the article. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay, we have uh, questions uh, on the chat from Tatiana Kramarenko. What was the methodology for forming uh, the experimental and control groups uh, specifically in uh, oh, the number, I'm sorry, uh -huh. ah, the number of uh, students who participated in the experiment? How does stru structure Mathematics I think can fit into the overall structure of mathematics competence of the students. Oh, interesting question. Okay, you uh, can uh, uh, read in the uh, yes, chat. I can. Uh, yes, I I see. Thank you for the question. I also um, copy this question for uh, Semenet. Uh, he he will be more interested uh, uh, i mean okay i can tell you that our uh, control group had 76 students mm -hmm. and our experimental group had 186 students and uh, the methodology was uh, so before the experiment we gave uh, four questions to see the motivation of students if they want to develop a uh, psychological skills, uh, pedagogical skills, yes, because here we use the methodology of Ukrainian um, psychologist uh, Dusavitsky. And uh, this is a very important because their personality, this uh, uh, teacher's uh, personality and the psychological, uh, um, uh, like uh, psychological uh, position or Teacher's position is important in pedagogical activity. Teacher's position, because personality education 
is uh, in the focus of Dusevitsky concept. Uh, okay, and this is very important to have some individual uh, cooperation, to have some, you know, uh, to have um, cooperation, cooperation between teacher and student. Uh, okay, so this this psychological pedagogical uh, precondition prerequisite by uh, Dusevitsky. Uh, so it was explained to the students that this experiment will will focus a lot uh, about you know pedagogical psychological uh, effect. Okay, and uh, how does structural mathematical thinking fit into the overall structure? So here, what is important is. Uh, uh, going uh, like a de deductive method, like Sherlock Holmes used this method. Uh, so uh, going from the uh, abstract to the concrete, to see the logic of the problem, to see the logic, how to approach the problem, and then uh, solve a specific uh, specific um, um, uh, tasks, okay? Not solving many, many, many tasks like dozens and hundreds of tasks, but students don't see the structure, don't see the pattern. Uh, this is empirical method, but our experiment used uh, another method when they can understand one or two, but very, very thoroughly in a very uh, detailed understanding, okay? So, and move, uh, so from, from the concrete, uh, sorry, moved from the abstract, moved to the concrete. Uh, so uh, I hope I answered your question. And okay. please, uh, the article, yes, uh, thank you for uh, making it possible for many researchers, many mathematicians uh, read the articles. Thank you. Okay, yes. we Today we report and... Uh... The main of ta our task uh, that many people uh, read our articles. So, okay, thank you, thank you. Irena. Are thank there you. any questions? Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you, thank you for your research and for your answer. Okay, and we go to next uh, report. Uh, Olga Pilipenko and Tatiana Kramarenko. It's uh, teams from uh, Kriverich State Pedagogical University. Structure and functional models of formation of STEM competencies of students of professional high education institution in mathematics teaching. Please. Participants. We are pleased to present the results of our research on structural and functional model of formation of STEM competencies of students of professional higher education institutions in mathematics teaching. The relevance of the study is due to the rapid development of STEM education, changes in economic activity, its technical base and organizational forms, conditions and requirements that it puts forward to the level of knowledge and qualifications of professional junior bachelors. The purpose of this study was to theoretically substantiate, develop and experimentally test the effectiveness of the structural and functional model of STEM competencies formation of students of professional higher education institutions in teaching mathematics. The purpose of this article is to highlight the features of the developed structural and functional model and the effectiveness of its implementation, in particular using the educational and methodological support developed by the authors. The analysis of scientific sources and pedagogical experience has shown that in modern educational practice there are contradictions between a significant amount of accumulated domestic and foreign experience in the organization of STEM education in secondary education institutions and insufficient understanding of the need and relevance of STEM education for professional junior bachelors. Requirement for the level of STEM competences of graduates of professional higher education institutions and the existing degree of their formation. The need to introduce innovations caused by the processes of digitalization and European integration and the insufficient speed of updating curricula and methodological support for professional junior bachelors. 
The main idea of STEM education is the practical preparation of students to solve certain real-life problems by integrating STEM disciplines – science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Mathematics is one of the STEM disciplines on the basis of which other academic disciplines can be integrated, which contributes to the development of STEM competences by bringing classroom learning closer to real-world problems through practical research. In accordance with the analysis of the state of implementation of STEM education in the scientific and pedagogical literature and educational practice, the content of STEM competences of students of professional higher education institutions is specified. STEM competences of students are defined as an integrated personal formation manifesting itself in the developing of its components. Mathematical competence, information and communication competence, basic competence in the fields of natural science and technology, project and technological competence, and soft skills, including critical thinking. We have identified four criteria for assessing students' STEM competences in mathematics. Value and motivational component, creative and active component, cognitive component, and reflective and evaluative components. These criteria make it possible to pedagogically monitor the state of formation of students' STEM competences at elementary, intermediate, sufficient, and high levels. The developed structural functional model consists of external factors in four blocks, which we will discuss in more detail. Three groups of external factors have been identified that influence the actualization of STEM education. These are social order for the training of highly qualified STEM specialists, the methodological block, which includes the principles of education and the main approaches to organizing education, modernization of technologies and teaching methods, development of ICT and STEM technologies, including the development of special and adapted learning tools, including for learning mathematics. Structure of the model for the formation of STEM competences of students of institutions of professional higher education in mathematics consists of target, content, activity and diagnostic blocks. The target block defines the goal, the content block reflects the content of students' STEM competences. The pedagogical conditions for the formation of STEM competences of students of institutions of professional higher education in mathematics include Motivating and stimulating students to educational, cognitive and research activities in teaching mathematics through engagement and cooperation and the use of individual and group coaching. Implementation of STEM projects in mathematics education. Application of ICT to provide visibility and research orientation of mathematics teaching. The activity block also includes the technology of forming students' STEM competences methods, means, and forms. The diagnostic block presents diagnostic tools based on the developed criteria, value motivational, creative and active, cognitive and reflective evaluative, and indicators of students' STEM competences according to a full level gradation, high, sufficient, intermediate, and elementary. In order to scientifically confirm the effectiveness of the implemented structural and functional model of forming STEM competences of students of professional higher education institutions in teaching mathematics, an experimental test was carried out. The total period of the study lasted four years, from 2019 to 2023, and was implemented in four stages, preparatory, ascertaining, formative, and control. To test the formation of students' STEM competences, a comparative analysis was conducted between the studied indicators using Fisher's criterion at the formative and summative stages of the study. The slide shows the results of the assessment of the levels of formation of the value motivational component. We can see that at the formative stage, the experimental group showed an increase in the sufficient and high levels. Accordingly, we evaluated each component the slide shows the results of the assessment of the levels of formation of the creative and activity component, which showed a positive trend in the experimental group. 
The slide represents the results of the assessment of the levels of cognitive component formation. At the end of the experiment, there were no significant changes in the control group. Instead, in the experimental group, where the structural functional model of forming STEM competences of college students was implemented, positive dynamics were observed. The implementation of the structural and functional model for the formation of STEM competences of students of professional higher education institutions, the provision of pedagogical conditions that enhance its effectiveness, has shown an increase in the levels of critical thinking, information and communication competence, project and technological, uh, key mathematical competence, and basic competences in the fields of science and technology. The statistical analysis of the experiment results showed a tendency towards positive changes in accordance with the defined criteria for the formation of student STEM competences. It was possible to achieve the advantage of uh, uh, sufficient and high levels of student STEM competences in mathematics. The study doesn't exhaust all aspects of the analyzed problem. Promising areas for further scientific research include the development of methodological principles for the use of immersive technologies in mathematics classes, training of STEM teachers to work in institutions of professional higher education. Thank you. For Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, it's very uh, modern. Uh, yes, uh, STEM uh, education. Are there any questions? Okay, please, Katerina. Uh, can you start with my question? Uh, yes. First of all, I would like you to underline again, please, more clearly, uh, the novelty in your model. Uh, what what something new? Say please clear. Uh, what new in your model? Uh, sorry. Um. Please. Uh, your question to the. Uh, do, uh, do do you have, uh, that you gave the model for us? Uh, the STEM technology. Uh, it's quite modern uh, study, uh, but there are a lot of different study about this technology. Yes, uh, I believe that I, you analyzed a lot of work. Uh, so I have a question to you, something that was the novelty, uh, was something new in your model, uh, was techniques mean mode uh, or something like that? did you use to give your model? Yes, yes, in your model, something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, thank you for your question. Um, <laughs> One second. Um, mm -hmm. Hello. Go. Don't worry about it. No, yeah, uh, maybe you try. Please, please try to answer my question. Is it so? Um, Yeah, <laughs> з нуля і орієнтувалися саме на фахового вже молодшого бакалавра, оскільки стем компетентності, стем освіта більш розвинена у школах, а от саме коледж і оминали. Тому ми більш розробили модель для студентів 
перших, других, третіх курсів коледжів. Це така сполучна ланка між школою і університетом вік студентів. Тобто орієнтувалися саме на них. Можна, будь ласка, на українські питання або в чат? Я правильно зрозуміла, що ви нам дали абсолютно нові компетенції для підготовки молодших бакалаврів? Вони основані на вже раніше розглядуваних, от, наприклад, структуру систем компетентності, ми орієнтувалися на Поліхун, Постікову, Сліпухіну. Вони виділяли певні систем компетентності, ми звідти частково брали. Також орієнтувалися на Морзе, на її компетентності, на Струтинську і скомпонували, вибрали так більш систем компетентності, які більше би підійшли для коледжу, для студентів коледжу. Тобто, по факту, це вже інші дані системи компетентності, інша структура. Я згодую вашу питання, і останній питання. Ви підготуєте презентувати вашу тезис? Ви пишете дисертацію? Закінчила. Закінчила. Тобто, ви повинні бути готові до цього питання, тому що я згодую, що ви будете підготувати презентувати це. Ви збираєтеся захищати. Вже закінчила, захистила, так. А вже і захистила. Нещодавно, тільки. То мої вам вітання, всі події. Ну, тоді продумайте ще раз для себе відповідь на це питання. Та якось пересмислюючи, бо вам якось прийдеться все одно і ще раз пересмислювати те, що ви зробили. От коли ви будете готові, то після пересмислення дайте собі відповіді, що я зробила нового. Окей, yes, and the next question. What the student in college different from the secondary school? Yes, they are completely different, and of course it's some kind of new competence for them, and it's really... Uh, exhaustion work uh, for some kind of students and I see uh, to find uh, some way how to motivate such kind of students. In okay, such a yes. So, so I believe that it's so uh, good work and, uh, uh, and I know that after some kind of presentation you sometimes think uh, uh, what's the novelty of my uh, my thesis and i believe that uh, for this uh, for this uh, uh, young scientists this question will be useful Thank yes you. yes uh, I, because uh, in college in the universe and in the uh, secondary school There are some uh, same the same competences. Okay, uh, I have uh, one small question. If you can uh, give uh, quickly, explain your choice of structure of component component of STEM uh, competence and uh, crit criteria for their assessment. Mm -hmm. Поясніть свій вибір компонентів для тієї компетентності, що ви демонстрували. Ага, так, дякую. Вони були у вас на слайді? Так, є. Загалом, з теми компетентності 
характеризується як знання, уміння і ставлення. Тому саме критерії ми обрали як цінностно-мотиваційний це по відношенню до ставлення креативного діяльності до умінь і знання – це когнітивний компонент, а рефлексивно-оцінний ми вже більш враховували як до критичного мислення. Окей, я бачу. Окей, дякую. Дякую, Ольга. І можливо... І, можливо, ви наведете тоді якісь цікаві приклади проєктів, які ви там реалізовували у своєму дослідженні? Наприклад, студентам задавали проєкт у створити зону відпочинку. Вони створювали спочатку її онлайн, моделювали в програмі «Тінтерк» Тіндеркад, потім вони а, опрацьовували фінансові розрахунки, робили, а, скільки коштів знаходили, використувалися пошуком а, цих елементів, які вони хотіли побудувати, дізнавалися, яка ціна, а, і будували, а, робили фінансові розрахунки на побудову цієї зони, а, враховуючи і транспортні а, витрати і складали повністю кошторис з цього. А також працювали, створювали в джебрі, в геогебрі із функціями доповненої реальності працювали. Теж дуже було цікаво студентам працювати. Наразі вже є Перевага в тому, що можна користуватися з будь-якого пристрою і з андроїду телефону дозволяє це робити, бо раніше були обмеження певні на саме доповнену реальність в Євгебра. Наразі немає. Також працювали, там створювали і різні голограми із студентами, і створювали відео до цих голограм на студентів на предмет комп'ютерна графіка. Вони на комп'ютерній графіки робили, розроблювали відео спеціальне для голограми і створювали після вивчення зрізаної піраміди, створювали цю зрізану піраміду і будували зображення голограми. Дякую. Окей. Дякую, Ольга. І час для наступного рапорту. Це Аліна Віолвода і Оксана Клачко. Це дуже цікаво, бо є from Ukraine and Israel, comparison of experiments uh, of using games in mathematics education in Ukraine and Israel. Please, speaker. Dear colleagues, we present to your attention a study of the topic comparison to uh, the experience of using digital games in mathematics education in Ukraine and Israel. How the world during the previous decades, the process of digitalization in the various parts of society's life have developed rapidly. Education was not an exception. Uh, the inputs for the acceleration of digitalization of education was the fourth uh, transition uh, to distance learning. Uh, associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. The participants of the educational process were forced to massivity. Uh, youth values on uh, online uh, resource such as distance learning systems, online platforms for studying, various academic uh, disciplines programs for uh, conduction, video conference, uh, electronic magazine uh, at all. In addition, uh, there have been an increased uh, interest in educational digital games, in uh, particular mathematical games, both on the part of the teachers and on the part of, the, uh, of students. 
gaming market is developing uh, strongly and we should use computer game in education especially in mathematics by 2027 the number of video games uh, users uh, worldwide will reach uh, 2080 29 million uh, the largest segment uh, is mobile games uh, which a market size of 100 uh, 64 billion um, USA dollars in 2025. So far, there were not enough studies in which the aspirations and motivation of study uh, regarding the use of digital games in the process of learning mathematics have been studied. Therefore, if the uh, it was uh, while to conduct uh, research on the use of digital mathematical games, uh, interest, experience, and motivations of students in both Ukraine and other countries, practical Israel. Uh, the purpose of the articles is to uh, investigate uh, how widespread is the use of digital games in the process of teaching mathematics in Ukraine and Israel, uh, to study the opinion of studies uh, on regarding the feasibility and uh, possibilities of using digital games in teaching mathematics. Research methods and uh, present, uh, are presented on the slide. Questions were used to conduct research and experimental work. Uh, the questioning consists of three parts. The first part, uh, part of the questioning made is possible to collect demographic um, data of respondents such as uh, gender, age, uh, educational institution, place of residence, and others. Uh, the second part of the survey was aimed uh, at determining the level of students' events of uh, viable mathematical education computer games. Demographic data, the respondents are present on the slide. Examining the reports, um, responses of Ukrainian and Israel school children. To evaluate of digital games can offer valuable insights into the uh, over game trends of digital game interest among school and game children. An important question, the answer to which we were uh, primarily interested, is uh, how often children play digital games. How often children play digital games? Israel school children who play computer games every day. 74% uh, is almost twice and high as the number of Ukrainian school children, 41%, according to this um, uh, indicated. At the same time, the number of Ukrainian school children playing several times a week, 32%, uh, is twice as large as the number of Israel school children, uh, almost 70%. Uh, among Ukrainian school children, there are more people who used to play digital game, but now, but now do not. Students' interest in mathematical digital games was determined using three questions. Have you ever played digital mathematical games? Have you math teachers use digital mathematical games in math lessons? Would you like computer math games to be used in school when learning mathematics? The result of the observations are present in Table 2. Note the uh, majority of Ukrainian school children, almost 78%, uh, played mathematical digital games. In general, 
the adventures is not uh, um, significant. However, it was Israel features who use digital math games more often in uh, mathematics lessons. Uh, there were almost wise and many Israel school children who give a positive answer to the question. Do new teachers use digital mathematical games in mathematics lessons? Uh, Thirty-two percent. Uh, uh, the new brain owns uh, seventeen. The respondents answered to the question: Would you like computer uh, math games to be used in school? Uh, or confirm them. Mandatory of school children both in Ukraine and in Israel expressed an interest and desire for teachers to use mathematical digital games in mathematical lesson when learning mathematics. Um, analysis of questioning uh, realized that yes. It would be interesting. Was the most common response chosen by the school children? Almost half of the several school children uh, answered this uh, way in Ukraine. Um, almost uh, 15. Uh, in Israel, 40. Uh, the answer yes, can try was also common. 41% uh, of Ukrainian school children and 35% of Israel's. It should be noted that in both countries, almost the same uh, share of school children with a slight advantage in Israel of 13% um, who believe that using digital games is, uh, in mathematics lesson is in the prayer. Um, uh, uh, in pro From the last two questions in table two, additional information about the subject of the study of uh, opinion to hear if the answer had a more personal quote. Two children could choose several answer op uh, options from the present table two and express their uh, or own opinion about the possibility of using digital uh, math games in the process of teaching mathematics. In particular, some students indicate the digital uh, resource that the teachers used in the lesson express their own uh, wishes and their opinions about the several. into school children's uh, um, perspective and um, regarding the possibility of using digital mathematical games, the study employs com comparative analysis to assess uh, the potential of survey mathematical games in the process of teaching mathematics. During the um, survey question, respond, uh, responses presented in table 3. The largest choose among both Ukraine and Israel school children. Uh, so on the uh, statement, I uh, admit that using mathematical digital games can be useful for learning mathematics, and I would be interested to learn more about mathematical digital games and try playing them. A uh, slight difference in the uh, date uh, is objective uh, when choosing the statements. I know that there are cool mathematical digital games that give a good result in learning, but I have not um, had that they are used in lesson. Uh, I am a uh, supporter to traditional teaching of mathematics without the use of uh, digital games. And I believe that digital games, even mathematical ones, uh, are only uh, entertainment for students and are walls uh, of educational time. Traditional teaching uh, methods are uh, performed more by Ukrainian school children in um, 
almost 10 percent uh, in contrast of the transgender children uh, two percent it's already mentioned only 17 of Ukrainian respondents answered to the teachers used uh, mathematical digital games in mathematics lesson, which is uh, significantly less than uh, uh, correspondent in uh, in the cartel among Israel school children, 32 percent. Students were also uh, said to determine uh, whether their teachers uh, utilize digital mathematical games in the lessons, and if so, to identify the specific game uh, employed. The most common answer among Ukrainian school children were well, I don't remember. Matifi uh, Kahut. Uh, one respondent answered that the teachers used Minecraft in the geometry lesson. Uh, Israel chose school children. Uh, also noted, uh, also noted, uh, Israel children, school children also noted that teachers used Matifi, Kahoot, uh, Ten Fingers, uh, and Mass Playground, and uh, others. The survey phrase in, um, included open ended questions um, prompting students to share their vision for uh, incorporation digital game into mathematics lesson. The answer to the open question both among Ukraine and among Israel's school children were quite diverse. Uh, Thus, the majority of respondents from both countries believe that the digital games are uh, appropriate in mathematics lessons. If uh, students sometimes play such games, they will have a greater desire to learn mathematics. I want digital games at school. It will make the lesson more interesting. Maybe the children will start to learn better. Digital games in math Lesson is a very good idea. I would like to use math digital game in uh, math lessons. They are interesting and also education. I think the learning uh, with digital games will be better. Some students uh, express more uh, um, um, religious uh, uh, vigilance. Sometimes they uh, should be used to consider the application of mathematics, theories, and practice. Uh, I'm not a fan of digital math games. Uh, the field of digital um, gamification is in education is con um, constantly developing in accordance with the development of digital technologies. Therefore, the issue of using digital game in mathematics school education is relevant even at the present time. Uh, present, uh, time. Uh, the main problems in the development and uh, uh, implementation of digital game in mathematics lesson at school remain and following motivation and involvement, uh, effectiveness of uh, training, uh, with uh, teacher support, uh, systematic improvement of educational programs, integration with the um, curriculum, uh, evolution of training, uh, professional training of teachers, uh, the risk of computer addition, and other. And in conclusion, I would like to say that um, also see the um, directions of solving possible problems uh, related to the use of digital games in mathematics lesson at school. The introduction of course uh, related to the use of digital computer games, development of methodological recommendations for 
future mathematics teachers and or mathematics teachers on the development and use of digital games uh, forming possible teach uh, uh, technical problems and art. Thank you for your Thank you for Lino. Uh, I have a question. Okay, Irina. Why did you choose uh, for uh, comparing um, uh, Ukraine and uh, Israel? Maybe, maybe you have uh, experience. Uh, maybe uh, you work uh, in uh, Israel uh, university uh, or school. Um, thank you uh, for your question. Oh, let me the phone. Thank you. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, I am glad to see many familiar faces: uh, Miss Diana Kramorenko, uh, Katerina Vlasenko, and other. If you don't uh, mind, I'll answer in Ukrainian because I'm very uh, right. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Чому саме я вибрала для порівняння Україну і Ізраїль? Я відповідно скажу, оскільки е, тема мого дослідження, яким я зараз займаюся, це саме підготовка майбутніх учителів математики взагалі в Ізраїлі, система підготовки їхня, а відповідно цій системі підготовки вчителів як структурний компонент інновації, які там відбуваються. І от мене дуже зацікавила саме тема того, як використовуються комп'ютерні математичні ігри відповідно в Україні, ну і в Ізраїлі. Виявилося доволі, це не перша публікація, не перше дослідження в цьому напрямку. Ми вже вивчали думку учителів, в деяких публікаціях це висвітлено. Вчителів в Україні, вчителів зараз в Ізраїлі щодо цього питання – і тому, якщо висвітлювати це питання комплексно, саме вивчення чого в Ізраїлі, тому що в них доволі таки розвинена е, стема світа, в першу чергу, е, в них доволі е, велика кількість щених на душу населення, найбільше, може, е, можна сказати, у світі кількість щених на е, кількість населення, і е, вони дуже прогресивні у цьому напрямку. І дійсно, вони, багато комп'ютерних ігор, які з'являються в них в школі, в нас ми і не чули про деякі з них, і вони їх використовують в навчанні, і для дітей це доволі цікаво, як в Україні, так і в Ізраїлі. І от це дослідження, я не кажу, що воно дуже репрезентативне, насправді, можливо, це невелика вибірка і так далі, але для порівняння того, що відбувається там і тут, ми бачимо доволі суттєві відмінності. Дякую за, за питання. Okay, thank you. And uh, I have a uh, continuous question. It was uh, one uh, games uh, or the same games or different mathematics games. And uh, another question, what language of this game? Uh, English or Ukraine or edition? Thank you. <laughs> thank you for your question. Movie, да, які використовують... Да, мови і чи одна, одні ж ті самі ігри ви порівнювали? Так, да, оце я, я дійсно відповів на це питання, тому що є ігри, які там і тут, і тут доволі популярні. Це, в першу чергу, Кахут, хоча, як на мене, це не зовсім гра, це все-таки Вікторина. Ну, але, тим не менше, її використовують в Ізраїлі, в Україні доволі потужно. От чисто ігрова платформа, яка використовується і в Україні, і в Ізраїлі паралельно, це Матіфік. Багато дітей відповіли в Україні, що бачили Матіфік, і відповідно в Ізраїлі теж суттєва частина, казали, саме були питання з відкритою відповіддю, де діти вказали в відповіді Матіфік. Були, звичайно, відмінні ігри, наприклад, та сама Math Playground, вона англомовний ресурс, який в Україні ну, майже не використовується, а в Ізраїлі діти вказували Math Playground. Ground. Причому він є, я так зрозуміла, з їхніх відповідей, і, тому що ем, анкета була на івриті, перекладалася відповідно, діти писали відповіді е, теж на мові івриті, і, і переклад відбувався, що е, вона є в, е, із е, івритомовним інтерфейсом, ну, скажімо, скажімо так. Угу. Е, є інші, чисто, чисто їхні ігри, там якихось 10,
We have a technical problem. Ага, це не ті... So, we have uh, some technical problems, yes? In Alina. Yes. Okay. So, some mm -hmm. second. Maybe we, maybe we have a... Uh -huh. Yeah. Don't hear, Alina. Увімкніть мікрофон. Перепрошую, у мене були проблеми з інтернетом, десь мене трошки викинуло. Yes, yes. Так. Я не okay, почула. Ви, ми чули про те, що є і ті, і ті програми, почули, mm -hmm. що е, там, ось е, одні і ті ж самі є ігри, да, що від, е, учні відповідали. Ага, а, є, а далі були відмінні, які, наприклад, є в Суто в Ізраїлі, а в нас їх не було. От була така чисто ізраїльська гра, вона в них там називається 10 пальців, здається, щось такого плану, арифметична вона. Ще була одна гра, от зараз не пам'ятаю, теж Ліберіта перекладала, типу як розумашки, можна так якось перекласти. Ну, тобто це вже теж їхні якісь власні розробки, які вони використовують, мабуть, бо це діти вказували ігри, які використовують чи на уроках математики. Щодо України, то, звичайно, найпопулярнішим ресурсом, який ми все-таки побачили, можливо, я не претендую знову ж таки на вичерпну відповідь, тому що вибірка буде, можливо, продовжувати дослідження в цьому напрямку, то здебільшого це був Матіфік, дійсно, і Кахут, як я вже казала. Ну, Майнкрафт – це однічний випадок, яку дитина назвала, тому, на жаль, на жаль, все-таки ситуація така, що в Україні поки що використання цифрових дидактичних ігор на уроках математики на дуже, скажімо, початковому рівні. Okay. Я маю продовження okay. питання. З дітьми якого віку проводилось опитування? Чи це були, один, був один і той самий вік в Україні і в Ізраїлі? Так, да, дякую. Дякую. У нас, до речі, ще теж планують зробити ще аналіз такий більш по вікових категоріях. Це опитувалися учні з 5 по 11 класи. В анкеті вони вказували відповідно свій вік і клас. І теж, якщо говорити про старших школярів, наприклад, в Україні і в Ізраїлі, Порівняння важко трошки зробити, бо ізраїльських школярів було не так багато опитано, все-таки були опитані більше 5-7 класи, оскільки ну, можливість така була в такій школі, все-таки, а старших було опитано менше. Тому відповісти чітко на це питання поки що важко, але в перспективі, якщо досліджувати цю проблему далі, обов'язково буде це питання досліджуватися, але скажу, що були учні різних класів. І, звичайно, зацікавленість молодших школярів 5-7 класів в іграх більша. Хоча були такі відповіді українських школярів, до речі, 10-х і 11-х класів, які казали, що відкритих відповідей, що взагалі вважаю гру не потрібною, Хочу навчати традиційно, це наші, в Україні набагато більше таких відповідей. Да, наші старшокласники моментами вважають, що грати їм вже не потрібно, це вже. Але знову ж таки, там ще буде в нас одна вибірка по тому, що були школярі опитані е, шкіл поглиблені, е, поглибленого рівня з вивченням математики і були звичайні школи. Отака От теж порівняння буде проведене, що в перспективі е, і далі. Тому що ті, що навчаються за поглибленим, е, з поглибленим вивченням, звичайно, в них досить менше ставлення насправді до використання цифрових дидактичних ігор в процесі навчання математики. Да, мене теж здивувало те, що в Україні діти відповідали, що не потрібні, ну, велика частка в порівнянні, що не да. вважають за потрібне використання ігор. Але от тепер стало зрозуміло, тому що старші молодші класи. І таке ж знову, ще брати, чи можна, у нас зовсім різні програми. Да, програми навчання. Різні, да. тому теж, от що скажу, що в них ж початкова школа до шостого класу, не вважається початкова школа, і сьомий, і дев'ятий клас це вже, тому, звичайно, трошки теж таке порівняння, скажу, що його треба буде явно відшліфовувати і дивитися ще в інших ракурсах, це було таке пробне дослідження, 
тому що дійсно програми відрізняються і вони чого більше граються до шостого класу, тому що в них відповідно програма те, що ми вивчаємо, наші школярі вивчають, скажімо, в шостому класі, вони вивчають десь в восьмому п'ятому. Да, да. Ну, ну орієнтовно так. Да, я принаймні з фізики точно знаю, що вони зовсім різні в них Так, вони до шостого, в них початкова школа, взагалі в них сьомий, дев'ятий, це вже середня школа, ну і вже десятий, дванадцятий, там вже профілізація повна, там вже все взагалі по-іншому. Вони вибирають собі рівень навчання ж на кількість одиниць, три, чотири, п'ять навчальних одиниць, тому там вже відповідно трошки по-іншому. Але все одно ігри використовують і, і доволі потужно. І... І є в чому повчитися в цьому напрямку. Є, так, зрозуміло, дякую. І там ось було питання від Тетяни Григорівни, але я думаю, що Тетяна Григорівна вже в ході дали відповідь. Yes? Окей. Thank you, Аліно. Thank you very much. Thank you. And next report is... Валерій Кузьміч, yes. Олександр Савченко, the analytical and geometrical interpretation of the flat remained of points by means of metric geometry in the study of metric spaces. Dear colleges, we offer you a report on analytical and geometric interpretation of the flat arrangement of points by means of metric geometry in the study of metric spaces. The work considers the issues of studying methods of geometric properties of metric spaces in higher school. First, we introduce some basic concepts related to metric spaces. Such concepts are metric space, points of space, distance between points of space. Let in the set X of elements X, according to a set in rule rho, any two different elements X1 and X2 of this set can be matched uh, with a single real number rho X1, X2, so that the conditions are fulfilled. One, two, three. Then such rule rho is called the metric of the set X. The set itself is uh, called the metric space with the metric rho and denoted by X rho. The numerical value rho X1, X2 is the distance between the elements X1 and X2. And the elements uh, themselves are the points of the metric space. More compactly, this uh, distance between the points x i and x j uh, is denoted by rho i j. The Arsos also use the concept of an angle in metric space and the concept of a numerical characteristic of an angle. By the angle, formed by three points, x, i, x, j, x, k, k, we will understand the order triple of these points, x, i, x, j, x, k, and denoted angle, x, i, x, j, x, k. At the same time, uh, the points x, j will be called the vertex of the angle, and the pairs of points x, i, x, j, and x, j, x, k are its sides. The numerical characteristic of the angle x, x, i, x, j, x, k will be called the number phi, x, i, x, j, x, k, formula one. Or more compactly, phi, i, j, k, Formula 2. With the help of the concept of the numerical characteristic of an angle, it is possible to write down the definition of the flat placement of four different points of the metric space. We will say that the four points x1, x2, x3 
three x four of matrix space x row are flatly placed in this space if the equality hold formula three. The equality in Euclidean geometry means that the volume of the uh, tetrahedron uh, whose vertices are located in the points x1, x2, x3, x4 is zero. Any of these points can be chosen as the common vertex of the angles. If any four points of some set of metric space are flatly placed in this space, then this set of points will be called flatly placed in this space. Let us give an example of a flat placement of points in metric space. In the space C, we take four points or functions y1, y2, y3, y4. Distances between these points in space C is numerical characteristics of angles with the apex at point y4 is. Let's calculate the determinate is zero. Therefore, the points y1, y2, y3, y4 are flatly placed in the space C. In the two-dimensional Euclidean space, R2, the points y1, y2, y3, y4 are linear functions and are placed as follows. To visualize the mutual location of four points A, B, C, S of metric space, the distances between which are known, let's build the corresponding tetrahedron A, B, C, S in the dynamic geometric environment uh, of GeoGebra CD. We place vertex A in the center of the uh, three-dimensional system of Cartesian uh, rectangular coordinates space R3 and vertex B on the uh, positive semi-axis of the abscissa. When calculating the coordinates of the vertices of the tetrahedron, uh, the ordinate uh, of point C and applicate of point S will always be non-negative. The coordinates of the vertices of the tetrahedron can be calculated using the formulas. When calculating the coordinate ZS, the Jungius form, uh, formula was used. Jungius formula is an analog of Heron's for formula. It is used to calculate the volume of a tetrahedron by the length of its edges. If the lengths uh, of the edges of the tetrahedron are denoted by A1, A2, A3, A4, A5, A6, then the square of the volume of this tetrahedron is calculated according to the Jungius for formula. With different orientations of the tetrahedron, different values of the square of its volume are obtained. They can be positive, indicating that such a tetrahedron exists and can be constructed. If the square of the volume of a tetrahedron is negative, then this indicates that such a tetrahedron does not exist. If the square of the volume of the tetrahedron is equal to zero, then all the vertices of the tetrahedron lie in the same plane. That is, they are flatly placed. These values are calculated on a special calculator, which using the Jungius formula calculated this, the value of the square of the volume of the tetrahedron at different orientations.
in the space RC, you can visualize the mutual location of the four points y1, y2, y3, y4 on the space C, which were considered above. For this, it is convenient to use the dynamic geometric environment GeoGebra 3D. Using the formulas of the coordinates of the vertices of the tetrahedron ABCS, we will obtain the following image of this tetrahedron. Since this image is placed on a flat screen, it does not give an idea of the special relative location of these four points. The dynamic geometric environment uh, of uh, GeoGebra 3D makes it possible to rotate tetrahedron images in such a way that uh, the flat arrangement becomes obvious. To do this, it is enough to select the point uh, of observation of the tetrahedron in the uh, X O Y plane. By rotating the image accordingly, we get the following image of all four points. This image shows them flatly placed. This is conclusions from our work. Thank you for your attention. Thank you and to you. Excuse me for many formulas. <laughs> yes. This is but, mathematic. Uh, <laughs> this is mathematic. Yes. Today is, uh, today is mathematics. Uh, yeah. Uh, and uh, yes. Mathematics very, without formula, without digital, without uh, calculated, know. isn't. Yeah. I know this is very difficult. Students uh, also, students also difficult uh, study. Also, yes, I read, I see, uh, see your presentation, and uh, I have thinking. <laughs> what about students? <laughs> you have yeah. a very good student, yes. Yes. We have a very um, uh, difficult. Yeah, um, okay. uh, this um, uh, this uh, work uh, uh, shows uh, that uh, 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 real uh, numbers uh, have uh, geometry. <laughs> yes, yes. Vier, uh, uh, four, entschuldigen, <laughs> in uh, Deutsch und uh, English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I understand because uh, on the astronomy we have uh, the same uh, terms, uh, spherical coordinate, ah, yeah, astronomical yeah. coordinate, coordinate, and yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. when we uh, start uh, tasks and more difficult uh, tasks, it's not it's <laughs> not really. Spherical okay. geometry is very interesting, uh, and uh, it is uh, non-Euclidean uh, geometry. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, they must uh, see uh, the future. They must see a uh, scientific uh, level. More than um, uh, uh, spherical, uh, spherical geometry, uh, no, uh, not uh, metrical geometry. Yes, this is very important. Uh, yes, uh, yes uh, I, I agree. Yeah, um, uh, this work uh, shows stu uh, students uh, that um, <coughs> metric space uh, have geometry, geometry, <laughs> and uh, on a uh, fear. Um, <laughs> uh, four uh, points. Uh, have uh, image. Yes. For uh, lines uh, functions uh, uh, in uh, metric space C, uh, mm -hmm. is uh, tetrahedron. <laughs> <laughs> it is very okay. interesting for, uh, for students. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, they must uh, see 
models. They must see on the 3D models for yes, uh, yes, models. Yes, yes. Even the dimensional uh, uh, GeoGebra 3D, uh, 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 can show uh, uh, motion. Yes. Motion points and uh, uh, oh. motion geometry. Yes, <laughs> it's motion. Okay, Tiana have a question. Of, uh, the same. Uh, to what uh, in the chat? Question in the chat, uh, from the chat. Uh, to what uh, extent is your research the cable uh, to uh, a teaching path in secondary uh, school? Ah, okay. <laughs> this work... Давайте так, це дуже важливе питання. Я його зрозумів. Окей. У мене були проблеми... Так, добре, відповідайте. У мене були проблеми на міжнародних конференціях, зокрема, на Icon Masted. Тому що перед цим, <хи> перед цим я вводив поняття, ну, я, не я ввів, а Каган ввів, це дуже відомий наш, навіть український математик, його можна вважати, він в Одеському Новоросійському університеті працював. Ну, це дуже величина велика в геометрії. І він ввів поняття прямолінійного розміщення. Три точки. Сума відстаней дорівнює відстані між двома третіми. Це прямолінне розміщення, образ прямої, скажімо так. І я це розповідав, і на Icon Master доповідав, що це можна розповідати, починаючи з сьомого класу дітям. І мене накинулися. Ой, за що? А там можна на пальцях показувати це все. Готувати дітей до сприйняття прямої лінії. Тоді я трошки поспорив, ну, трошки не погодився, але зараз оцей матеріал, про який йде мова, його дітям – ні. Чому? Там є визначник, ви бачили, да? Детермінант. Взагалі, кажуть, це формула Юнгеса, там детермінант п'ятого порядку. П'ятого. Оце його спростили до, до, третє, до третього порядку завдяки оцій фі характеристики числові. І тоді виявилось можливим студентам розповідати. Плоске розміщення я дітям не рекомендую. Прямолінійне – так, плоске – ні. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It's very interesting. Yes, very difficult and very important. Yeah. Yes, yes. Yes. Okay, good luck in your future work and not di dif more difficult and less yeah. difficult. Так, фезе uh, we make uh, parallelism and perpendicular uh, placed. Uh, okay, I understand. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And uh, how are you? Are you tired? We have a Finnish report, and the Yuri Hroshenko, Samosenko Petro, Tetiana Pidhorna, Hanna Tsipko, Igor Tverdokhlip, and teams from another country task and teams task with parameters and digital approaches. Good afternoon, dear participants of the conference. Let me introduce you a study on task with parameters, a digitized approach. I will build my report according to the following structure. Statement of the problem, the research goal, a brief overview of the software used in the study, one of the examples of solving a task with parameters using different systems of computer mathematics, considered in the study, the main results of the study, and conclusions. Modeling of various processes and phenomena is one of the main general methods used in scientific research. Learning to solve tasks with parameters considered in the process of teaching mathematics is one of the prepar preparatory stages for mathematical modeling. There are two groups of methods for solving tasks with parameters, analytical and graphic methods. Analytical methods are grounded on the properties of functions of real variable, periodicity, 
parity, monotonicity, convexity, etc., that are being studied in detail in the course of mathematical analysis for students of corresponding specialties at bachelor's courses. The use of graphic methods was traditionally restricted by the possibility of plotting graphs of, of elementary functions and the ways of their transformation. The situation changed radically with the development of computer technology and the appearance of computer mathematics systems. An organic combination of analytical and graphic methods when solving tasks with parameters imposes additional requirements on the training of students, future teachers of mathematics. Their training should be based on, on a combination of theoretical material of the classical theory of the differential calculus of functions of a real variable and practical means of displaying graphs of functions with the use of CMS. The purpose of this work is to develop criteria for the selection of software advisable for the use in the process of solving tasks with parameters, as well as give examples of solving such tasks by both analytical and graphical methods. Today, web-oriented software, including CMS, is being used more and more. Among the most popular freely distributed computer mathematics systems, it should be noticed GeoGebra, Gran1, Wolfram Alpha, Maxima, SageMath, etc. Let's consider an example of solving tasks with parameters using CMS. More interesting examples can be found in our article. So the first example is solve the equation a multiply x equals 1. We will find the solution of the equation in analytical form using Wolfram Alpha, Maxima, and SageMath. With the help of Wolfram Alpha, we get an answer represented here and we'll mark it by 1. For a equals 0 to equation 1 has no solution. The, specific, the specificity of the Wolfram Alpha interface is that the case when the set of equation solutions is empty is not considered by default. On this slide, you can see a screenshot of uh, the wall from alpha with the solution of represented equation. Using the Maxima and Sage Math programs, we get the next solution, and this is the wrong answer. Corresponding screenshots you can see below. Using GeoGebra and GRAN1, it is not possible to obtain analytical solutions of this task. However, there can be useful a geometric interpretation of the task. So, the figure on the next slide, which was obtained using the ground one program, shows the graph of the function y equals ax for different values of the parameter, namely a equals 1 and a equals 0. In the case when a equals 1, the graphs of the function y equals x and y equals 1 intersect at one point. That's the equation marked 1 has one solution. If a equals 0, then the graphs of the functions y equals 1 and y equals 0 do not intersect. That is, the given equation has no solution. This slide represents the described solution by ground one. In the article, you can find more interesting examples, and some of them we will consider below. The first one find the values of the parameters a and b for which the equation sine x equals a x plus b has two solutions. The image obtained with gran1 shows just side the situation. You can see it here. 
a detailed analysis of the problem is given in the article. A detailed analysis of the following tasks is also provided using a combination of graphical and analytical approaches and the use of the above-mentioned computer mathemat mathematics systems. Here you can see some of these examples. The main results of the study. These results are represented in the table one. The table one analyzes the presence of program functions, which, in our opinion, are needed for graphical analysis of solving tasks with parameters. We considered such software tools as GRAN1, GeoGebra, Wolfram Alpha, SageMath, and Maxima. And on this slide, you can see a first part of the table and program functions described as this part of the table are as follows. Plotting graph of a function given in explicit form. Plotting graph of a function given in implicit form. Using a parameter in a function's analytical definition. Automatic change of graph of a function depending on the parameter value. As you can see, uh, only GRAN1 and GeoGebra has all listed function in their functionality. Now the next part of table one. The function of problem of programs are ability to change the parameter step change, plotting to a tangent to a curve at a point. Plotting of a normal to a curve at a point. Ability to change the scale. Determination of the coordinates of the intersection of graphs of functions. Obtaining, obtaining an analytical solution. We can see that um, software GRAN1 and GeoGebra also have all listed functions except the last one. And in general, two of these programs have the largest list of considered functions. Thus, it is advisable to use, first of all, GRAN1 and GeoGebra from the listed software tools for solving tasks with parameters. It should be noted that Wolfram Alpha, SageMath, and Maxima can be used to obtain an analytical solution, but the received answers are not always correct. Let me introduce you the conclusion of our work. When solving equations, inequalities, and their systems, it is often necessary to plot graphs of corresponding functions. In the case of implicit or parametric definition of functions, the process of plotting their graphs is quite complicated. The task becomes even more cumbersome if it contains a parameter. That's why they often try to solve these problems using various software tools. This paper substantiates the expediency of, use, of using computer mathematics system for solving tasks with parameters. Such freely distributed software as GeoGebra, Wolfram Alpha, SageMath, Maxima, and GRAN1 are analyzed. Criteria for software selecting have been developed and a comparative analysis of the specified software tools for solving task with parameters is given. According to this analysis, it is possible to recommend using, first of all, GRAN1 and GeoGebra for this purpose. Thank you for attention. Okay, thank you. Okay. Oh, and we have a question from Tom Kramarenka Tetiana. One more second. 
Okay, the topic uh, is uh, important in teaching uh, students. Uh, it helps to develop uh, students' uh, logical thinking. Uh, it will be interesting to learn about problems with parameters uh, that arise when solving appeared problems or problems of practical content. In particular, uh, in the context of STEM education, where such tasks uh, do that subject uh, of your research? Where yeah. such dear, tasks? Dear, dear colleagues, uh, here are present, present uh, three authors of the article. So who will, will be the reporter now? Okay. Tatiana, Yuri, or me? Okay. Okay, thank you, Yuri and Tatiana. Okay, thank you. Thank you for question. Uh, yes, it is very important to consider this topic, uh, namely soft, uh, solving task with parameters in the context of STEM education. But in our article, in our article, we doesn't consider this topic. And thank you so much. It will be the topic of our next researches. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So we was uh, oh will uh, uh, okay. So we have a new uh, article. Yes, in the next conference, I can must it. Probably, probably, dear colleagues. And we see you and next you year. You already yes. on it. Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. I have a question. Uh, you say that um, graph one uh, is more uh, interesting uh, program and it has uh, many functions. Yes. Are there maybe uh, sage garden or sage Save uh, mathematics or other uh, program uh, have functions which uh, uh, graph one and uh, the round. Uh, yes, in our... Yes, in our... Yes, in our... Yes, in our... Yes, yes. We recommend first of all Grand One and GeoGebra, as, oh, GeoGebra as, yes. as was told. But but um, for example, for example, is uh, there is analytic, one, analytic, one uh, uh, very important program function, namely obtaining an analy analytical solution. Okay. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Obtaining a solution um, in the form of formula, not, not graphics. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, Gran 1 has not such function, but Sage Mass, Wolfram Alpha, and Maxima have. Oh, okay, yes. But, okay. but uh, most of other function considered in the article Gran 1 and GeoGebra have. And I'd like you to introduce you and to present you the author, the developer of program of software complex Grand One, Yuri Vasilievich Goroshko. You can, you can see. Yes, we, can, we, we yes, stay yes. here. And I think that um, all of you uh, saw the examples of using Grand One in schools, in higher education establishments, because this software is recommended by the Ministry of Education of Ukraine for decades, for decades. Okay, yes, I see. Thank you, I understand. And I have answered my question. Okay, are there any questions? Thank you. Well, Irina, thank you, Yuri and other. And uh, thank you all of colleagues. Thank you so much for organization of uh, so interesting topics. We are very yes. appreciated. Yeah, thank you. Uh, all topics was uh, interesting, uh, and uh, we finished it. Uh, we uh, wanted uh, to see you.
tomorrow in the other uh, our questions in physics and uh, computer science. Uh, we start tomorrow at uh, 40, 40, yes? Uh, Two of session. the morning. Start. Yes. Yes, okay. Thank you. We are grateful. Irina. Григорьевна, дуже рада вас бачити. Окей, okay, yes, maybe. Uh, я дуже рада, дуже приємно. Maybe uh, є ще бажаючі щось сказати, можете привітати один одного. Да. Дякую. Або взагалі виступити. За можливість зустрітися, хоча і віртуально, але дуже приємно. Ну, хоч в такому вигляді, але ми маємо зустрічатись. Так, і так, можна, вімкнути, можна вімкнути всім камери, щоб ми зробили гарний знімок. Так. Так. І пані Світлану ми б теж дуже просили, якщо вона з нами, то просимо. Пліз. Мабуть. Ото фомембер. І ще один раз, будь ласка. Всім дякую. Thank you, everyone. And see you next day, tomorrow. Goodbye. Yes.